Hey, I'm Stuart, and today I'm testing two talking video edit tools, VMake and Captions. I'll import the same raw talking head footage into both apps and walk you through the full editing experience, from first click to final export. So let's see which one really saves more time and delivers better results. All right, so starting with VMake. First thing I notice, everything's just here. The home page shows all the features at a glance, create, auto captions, enhancer, upscaler, teleprompter. You can just jump straight in. It's really beginner friendly. Now opening captions, it's really minimal. There's only a create and record button. Clean, yes, but also confusing. If you're new, you might be unsure where to start. Okay, so back to VMake, trying out the teleprompter. It's nice, it actually scrolls with my speaking speed. It feels natural, like I'm in control. Font size, margin, transparency, you can tweak all of it. Captions teleprompter scrolls at a fixed speed. There's no smart syncing and customization is limited. VMake also has an eye correction tool. It's easy to find and it works well. Captions hides it inside the editing flow, which might take a few clicks to locate. And it's a paid feature. When I import a video into VMake, it starts processing immediately. You can see the AI analyzing keywords and editing in real time. And the result comes out pretty fast. Captions, on the other hand, does take much longer to finish the same task. There's just a loading screen and you have to wait without knowing how long it'll take. Next, templates. VMake's templates are dynamic previews. They autoplay and the preview feels accurate. Once I build a look I like, I can save it as my own preset. Super efficient. Captions, on the other hand, show static thumbnails at first. You can click to see a preview, but it takes a few extra steps. But the platform does offer a wide variety of style templates. Subtitles are strong on both, to be honest. VMake generates accurate captions, auto highlights keywords, and even allows you to favorite subtitle styles. There is a find and replace function too, which saves time. Captions also does a great job with subtitles, and it actually shows a preview of the first subtitle line in each style, so you can instantly see how it'll look. Plus, it supports more translation languages, which is helpful if you're creating multilingual content. Now, when it comes to visuals, VMake shines here. You can place text, stickers, and charts behind the speaker with just one click. Great for storytelling and visual layering. The AI handles positioning smartly. Captions can generate visuals too, but they're random illustrations. You don't have much control over what you get, and if you want to place anything behind a speaker, you'll have to manually cut out the person first, which takes extra time and effort. Alright, you've seen the basics, now let me show you what only VMake can do. VMake integrates a suite of powerful AI features designed specifically to elevate your talking head videos. Noise reduction is completely free for all users, no pro subscription required. You've also got AI Enhancer for low light or grainy clips. You've got Video Upscaler with multiple resolution options, up to 4K. You've got a background remover, including subtitle and watermark removal, and background replacement with built-in scenes. For more details, check out our dedicated tutorials on YouTube. Okay, this one actually surprised me, the Beautify feature. VMake's Beautify mode is designed for anyone who wants to look polished without looking overly filtered. It smooths skin texture while preserving natural detail, refines facial contours for better definition, and can even subtly enhance features with AI-powered makeup effects. Now let's talk about something that can seriously impact your click-through rate, the opening hook. VMake lets you generate AI-powered hooks using your own on-camera presence. It analyzes your video content and suggests four personalized hook scripts. You can edit them, save your favorite, and jump straight into editing. It feels more natural and personalized because you're the one delivering the hook. And finally, thumbnails. You get a bunch of trending styles to choose from. You know, the kind that actually get clicks. Just pick one, tweak the text if you want, and boom, ready to upload. So, after editing the same video in both tools, here's my take. Captions is simple and clean, and might already work if you have a clear idea of your style and don't need much assistance. But if you want a more guided, feature-rich editing experience, VMake gives you way more. It makes the whole workflow smoother, from subtitles and templates to beautification and even AI-generated hooks. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Feel free to pause and take a look. Both apps can make talking video editing faster, but depending on your needs, one may work better than the other. Try them out and let me know in the comments. Which one do you prefer? And if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.